Even in the midst of suffering and pain, there's never a shortage of voices of life at Omgo Health Center in Omgo Refugee Settlement in Arua District. The center is run by Charity Medical Teams International. This baby boy is the first to be born at the facility today. One more will be born before end of day. And midwife Patricia Guzu's routine begins. First, suctioning the mucus from the baby's nose and mouth, and then to ascertaining the baby's weight. She then proceeds to cleaning the newborn and covering it up. It is a race against time. The first five minutes are very critical. Patricia is one of four midwives at the facility and she's helped deliver hundreds of babies. I feel very happy every time I help a mother give birth, she says. It is very exhausting but sweet knowing a new life has been brought into the world and that you have done the job. Do you feel happy? Yes. The mother is exhausted but very happy. The baby was 3.6 kilos. If Patricia is not in the labor ward, she's meeting expectant mothers and counseling them. Many show up stressed by the war. The center's antenatal clinic, housed in a makeshift shelter, receives over 90 mothers on any given day. <laughs> on immunization days, she's administering vaccines along with fellow midwives. In the maternity ward, Nancy James is recovering after giving birth to her first child. She's waiting for the father to return from South Sudan to give the baby a name. How do you feel? <laughs> Joy Sunday just gave birth to her fifth child. She's lucky to be alive and her baby. She had to flee to Uganda in September of last year when fighting got so close to her village in Central Equatorial State. The facility also offers services to the host community. The center treats everything. Malaria is the most common ailment diagnosed at the outpatient department. Omugo is a lifeline. People, both refugees and from the host community, report to Omugo Health Center 3 with all sorts of problems. But for the nurses and midwives here, their biggest fulfillment comes from helping mothers bring new life into the world. In the nutrition tent, breastfeeding mothers and those with children facing acute malnutrition gather. One of those is three-year-old Harriet. She has edema, a condition which causes swelling of the feet. Her grandmother is here to get some nutritious food. Omogo settlement houses over 28,000 refugees. In a few months, that number will increase by about 15,000. Omogo Health Center is brainstorming on ways to cope with a very vulnerable population, along with its hosts. Ronald Kato reporting in Omugo, Arua District.